Well, good evening and welcome to prayer meeting. Thank you for tuning in tonight. As always, if you have a prayer need, if you would put that right in the comment section of how you're watching or go to montgomeryfbc.org slash prayer and you can uh, submit any prayer requests you have. Again, thank you for tuning in virtually tonight as we have uh, with the threat of inclement weather tonight, we have canceled our in-person services and gatherings and events uh, in favor of doing things uh, virtually here together. Uh, and so I pray that you are staying well and praying these storms pass over quickly without any damage. And so I uh, pray you're staying safe tonight. And so together we want to just uh, join in prayer uh, very briefly here, look at our prayer list for the church and then encourage one another as we pray. So as always, if you have needs, continue filling out those cards on Sunday morning or uh, turn those in through the church website, we would be honored and delighted to pray alongside you. Uh, tonight we do want to uh, do our scripture memory verse, which is from Acts 4.12. And there is salvation and no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved, which is Acts 4.12. Perfect verse as we enter into this Easter season over the next couple weeks for us to memorize and recognize that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. So there's no other way in which salvation is due other than through Jesus. So continue praying and memorizing that. And tonight we do pray for the storms and the impact even as the storms hit yesterday and then again uh, today we pray that um, that they would not be bad, that they would just be a, a bad thunderstorm and that would not hit anybody hard tonight. So we do want to pray for protection tonight. And then um, as we go down our prayer list uh, that you receive or you can receive throughout the week from MontgomeryFBC.org slash prayer, we want to pray for the Williams family and the passing of E.G.'s uh, mom this week. From the McCrory family, that's Jared and Russell, and the passing of their uncle uh, and Will Lewis and the passing of his grandmother. We have a new baby born, uh, Tim and Leslie Riley, and the birth of their granddaughter born. That's fantastic news. And then a few in the hospital, uh, Josh Halford over at Children's, and pray for Josh. Um, I a text this morning, early in the morning, that they were over at the hospital and it was taken over to Children's with uh, some, some issues and just wanted to, to, we need to be in prayer for uh, Josh and the family as they look towards uh, getting him better. Marcella Anderson still over at Capitol Hill, and then Steve Watkins' father, Greel, uh, in the hospital as well. Uh, we had a splendid afternoon over at the new Caring Center, the new Community Ministries building on Arba Street. And in just a few short weeks, uh, they will begin the process of moving the Caring Center and the Community Ministries out of the Adam Street property and into 380 Arba Street. And we had our, our war room over there today, and it was a sweet hour of praying for the ministries of our community ministries and for our caring center and just uh, activating our imaginations together, thinking about the thousands of people that will walk through the doors of that new building who will get their physical needs met, food, clothing, and uh, different things met there, but also will walk away hearing about the gospel and hearing about Jesus. And it's a wonderful facility. If you're looking for a place to volunteer, if you're looking for a place to serve, oh man, there is no better place than the Caring Center and our community ministries as a whole, from the Master's Garden to Nehemiah Center uh, to prison ministry and uh, all that's done over at Caring Center. There's just ample and plentiful, awesome opportunities to use whatever gifts God has given you uh, for, in an in a awesome, awesome way that touches thousands upon thousands of lives here in our city. And so uh, as we look to a uh, grand opening in the mid-May, uh, mark that on our calendars, be so excited uh, for that ribbon cutting, cutting ceremony, walk through and see uh, what this just bright beacon of light in downtown Montgomery on 380 Arba Street uh, will be about. And so today was a sweet, special day having our prayer time there. And, and Wednesday is like the first Wednesday of the month is a special time. We have War Room at 1210 on the first Wednesday of every month every night during the week uh, for almost two years now, for over two years now. Uh, there's been a small group that meets every single night at 8 o'clock on Zoom to pray. And so uh, if you're looking for opportunities to pray, our church has lots of great opportunities for you to get involved in the prayer ministries of our church. So even tonight, after this concludes at 8 o'clock, we'll have an opportunity for you to pray uh, for the life of the church and what's going on around us and for one another. So hop on that Zoom call. You can find information at the church website and then uh, tonight to have this time to pray virtually together. A couple other things. Uh, continue praying for our music ministry search. 
Uh, we continue to look for our next minister of music and worship, and uh, we've had a wonderful meeting and continuing to meet and talk and just feel the Lord's presence leading us and guiding us. So continue praying for that awesome group of people that the Lord would lead us and guide us every step of the way as we continue to search for who the Lord would have for us to lead us in music and lead us in worship uh, here at First Baptist Church. A couple other things to be praying for. Pray for this Sunday, Palm Sunday. And then for Easter Sunday, the next week, remember we'll have three services, 8.30, 9.45, and 11 o'clock. 8.30 and 11 o'clock, we'll both have overflows in the youth center. And then at 9.45, we won't be able to have overflow uh, because the youth center will be in use. But essentially every square inch of usable space in our church will be used. And we look forward to welcoming back and welcoming our faith family here on Easter Sunday. It's going to be an awesome day to celebrate the Lord's goodness and just to celebrate being together in those three services. Um, I would encourage you, we did find out uh, today uh, that uh, on Sunday, uh, all the carpet will be out of the main sanctuary. They're almost done pulling all the carpet out of the main sanctuary and uh, the scaffolding is all out of there. And Serpro is working diligently so that on Sunday morning after the 11 o'clock service, from 12 to one o'clock, We'll have a time where you can, with your family, go in. Uh, you individually, with your family, you can go in and we'll have some Sharpies available. You can bring your own Sharpie and you can write on the concrete floor of the sanctuary scripture. And um, as we did many years ago, before we stepped back into the main sanctuary, uh, the floor is just littered with scripture. And so we want to do that again. Uh, carpet glue is over the top, and uh, we'll have a video tomorrow uh, that will share more details about that. But I did want to go ahead and put that on your radar that this Sunday, Palm Sunday, following the 11 o'clock service between 12 and 1 o'clock, we will open up the main sanctuary for you to come in and write scripture on the floor. There's no formal program. It'll just be a come and go as you're able. Come in, write scripture, have a time of prayer uh, for the reopening of our sanctuary in the next few months. And just... Uh, get to walk in there and remember and celebrate the Lord's goodness over these past six months to bring us back in together. So that's super exciting. Looking forward to that um, and looking forward to uh, just continuing to walk back into what God is calling us to and continue doing the things that God has called us to on a daily basis. And so uh, we want to be faithful to all the Lord has done. So let's pray over all these things that we've mentioned. And then um, again, if you have needs, if you have uh, different things that you'd like us to pray for, please put those in the comment section and we would be delighted uh, to pray for you. So let's, let's join our hearts together and pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, right now as uh, thunderstorms are all around us and the threat of inclement weather uh, remains strong, Lord, I pray that um, the winds would subside and that there would not be damage to any homes, structures, families, or businesses. Lord, we just pray that this would be a, a quick passing event tonight. Lord, we pray for our safety of our faith family, but also just those in Montgomery and the state of Alabama. We pray for those who were affected by the storms yesterday, uh, that as they get the help that they need, and as we as a church and faith family continue to help and provide for those in need. Or we have a lot of friends in our faith family who are walking through difficult seasons, uh, walking through the valley of the shadow of death, walking through cancer treatments, walking through radiation and different health challenges in their life today. But I pray that you would be an ever-present help in their time of need, that you would be near to them, that you would comfort them, that you would strengthen them. Or we, we pray for what's happening uh, across the world in Ukraine. Or we, we've seen the church rise up. We've seen the horrors of what's happening there on the front lines of uh, that terrible, uh, terrible evil happening there. Lord, I pray that you would uh, strengthen the believers, that you would bring peace somehow, that you would turn the hearts of the wicked uh, towards you. Lord, you pray for a disruption of the plans and just, we just pray peace would reign. We pray that in Ukraine, but we pray it across the landscape of the world and we pray it in the landscapes of our own personal needs, that we would find peace in you. So Lord, protect those who are walking through hardships, difficulties from wars and sickness and family upheaval and sin issues, that you would bring peace and that you would remind us that you are the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father. Like you are, you are so good to us. We, we thank you. We thank you that this Sunday, that 
as I walked around today and saw the scriptures on the floor in different places of men and women who have almost 20 years ago wrote, wrote scriptures on the written scriptures on the floors of that sanctuary. This Sunday we can get back in and repopulate the floor full of scriptures where we just continue to ask your leadership and your guidance that you would give us wisdom as we seek after you, that you would lead and guide us, that you would allow us your, your wisdom in every decision and every circumstance over whatever we are facing. For all those who are watching right now and participating in prayer, Lord, we just ask your wisdom over us that we would seek after it, we would run towards it, knowing that you are the author and the perfecter of our faith, the giver of all good gifts, the giver of all wisdom. So we seek after it. We seek after you. Lord, we, we come to this Easter and resurrection season with our hearts anticipating what this time means, that you came to this earth, lived a sinless and perfect life, that you died on the cross in our place, you paid the debt that we could not owe. And so this season is a season of the utmost celebration and realization of what you've done. So I pray as we step through these next couple of weeks, as we uh, go through the process of uh, communion on that next Wednesday night, as we go through the process of celebrating what you've done, that we would, in our hearts, remind ourselves of those gospel truths day in and day out. Lord, we, we stand with thankful hearts grateful for all that you have done, grateful for all that you are doing, and anticipating all that you will do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. You have a wonderful night. Stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you very, very soon.